In this video, we will have a look at how you can benefit from using virtual test drives for model-based ADA software development early in the vCycle. We'll take the selection of the relevant target for an adaptive cruise control for our example, but surely you can transfer this easily to your own development task. Here, we just saw a typical cut-in maneuver. It wasn't too critical, but imagine shorter time gaps or even a pedestrian or a bicycle entering the vehicle's path. This leads us to simulation's first benefit. Nobody is harmed, no matter how critical of a situation. But let's look at something more related to the function under test. You can see the driving path, or more precisely in German the Fahrschlauch, as estimated by the simple example algorithm based on sensor input such as yaw rate and steering wheel angle. Besides these chassis signals, the data from environment perception sensors is of course most important for selecting the relevant target. And with all this sensor input, we come to another benefit of simulation, the easily available data. You get both, realistic signals from Dynaforce physical models and data that cannot be collected from real test drives, such as the ground truth information of all surrounding objects. The vehicles that are actually detected by the sensor and the one that is selected as the relevant target are highlighted. This visualization is not only made for shiny pictures, but actually helps a great deal when it comes to debugging your function. That's why none of these visuals are hard-coded, but can be customized easily in Dyna4 instead. And let's be honest, isn't this more helpful for debugging at an early development stage compared to looking at the pure numbers in your signal traces? Wait, have you seen that vehicle being selected as the target despite being on the oncoming lane? Now that we're already talking about debugging, here comes yet another benefit. Simulations are exactly reproducible, so you can repeat each run as often as you need to while making adoptions to your tracking or control strategy. Or, do you always fix your bugs on the first try? Still not convinced that simulation may help you to finish your development task more efficiently? Well, there are even more advantages, such as the possibility for parameter variations, parallel execution on compute clusters, integration in continuous testing pipelines, and many more. But we may be a bit biased here as real simulation fans. 